Let's continue adding relations to better describe the design intent of this model. Go back to tools, relations, and we have a uh, bolt circle diameter here that is currently set to 85. Now, I can make that bolt circle diameter anything that I want. And unfortunately, I could also make it something that creates a bad design. For example, if I modify that to 100 and regenerate, I've created a design that's probably not going to not going to pass. And I could actually even in Pro Engineer make the bolt circle diameter so it was completely outside my model. So what I want to do next is control the bolt circle diameter with a relation. So D23 is the dimension that's being controlled by the bolt circle diameter. So I'm going to go above it and add an equation that says bolt circle diameter is equal to my OD plus the center hole diameter divided by 2. And I want to wrap that first part with parentheses. And again, give some space here so I can better see my equations. I'll hit OK and regenerate. And now my bolt circle diameter is located equal distance between the diameter of my center hole diameter and the OD of my part. To test that, let's change the OD to something drastically larger. So we'll go from say 100 to 150, regenerate, and now you can see no matter what happens with that OD, my bull circuit diameter is always in the middle. Let's do another quick test. Let's change the center hole diameter to be, it's currently 60. Let's change it to 110. Okay. And as you can see that now that bull circle diameter is a function of the OD and the center hole diameter. Please check out other video tutorials from Simplified Logic or visit our website at simplifiedlogic.com.